The Seto Naikai Sea is a calm and beautiful body of water dotted with islands. It's also the first and the biggest in Japan to be designated a national park. These small islands are now attracting attention from art fans around the world. The Setouchi Trianale, held every three years, is one of Japan's biggest art events. It's said to draw more than a million people every time. I don't get a chance to come to the islands that often, so I decided to come just for this event. I think it's great that you get to see not just art, but also the features of the islands. I think the concept of having art out in nature is a beautiful thing, rather than it being stuck inside a museum or in a gallery. Contemporary art fusing with nature on the islands. The people here are all enjoying art in their own way. In the course of modernization, the islands of Setouchi saw their populations gray and shrink and lose energy. With the power of contemporary art, we wanted this region to be the stage and regain its energy once more. That's what the Setouchi Triennale is about. Megijima Island. There's an eye-catching work of art here created by artists from overseas and local people. Rising Up is a more than 10 meter tall massive community art object called OK Tower. It's designed to uplift the islanders who are shrinking in number and despondent. Painted on it are scenes of moments in the islanders' lives when they felt happy, such as memories with grandchildren or their own childhood. The artists lived for a year on the island. One of them walked around, talking at length with residents and asking about their idea of happiness and expressing that in the piece. This man spoke about his memories of being a newlywed. I pulled out a picture of my wedding ceremony and said, this is it, this is it. I'm grateful they drew it. The residents say that more people are coming here and they feel a new kind of energy in the community. Near Megijima is Ogijima Island. Young people have been moving permanently here, captivated by what they saw during the art festival. Yamato Fukui and his family returned to the island, his hometown, three years ago to do work related to the festival. He says he couldn't stand by watching the place where he grew up fall by the wayside. I could see with my own eyes that there would be nobody left on the island in 10 or 20 years. So the whole family moved here and helped create an environment to make it easier for other families to relocate. The construction of a library is one example. We wanted to provide an environment for the education of children and also a community space, a cultural center for the islanders. It's also become a center of art where islanders across generations can gather. Life, or rather scenery in which children are around every day, is becoming normal, and the island is now very cheerful. What we consider essential is how to keep this going. The more it continues, the stronger the region gets. That may lead to our ultimate aim, a revival of Seto Uchi. Reviving the islands through the power of art. An art festival is reinvigorating this region and spawning new exchanges.